Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Bean and welcome to my channel and today I figured why not take the King team and see if we can make him absolutely destroy his opponents. I don't care what team we're going to face. We're probably going to do insane amount of damage anyways because we're going to pair him up with Ludo. And this is something you can't really run uh, exactly like this because most of the time when it's regular PvP and what I mean by that 3v3, uh, you can't have all four units on the field. But since it is currently 4v4 on global, as you see here, all together now, we can run this team. So basically the point is, King Team already does insane amount of damage over time, and also when it hits, because of the debuff damage. However, if we pair up Ludo, that means for 3 turns, if we do LCC the enemy, that is, we decrease and lower their defense rate stats by 40% for 3 turns. So that means, they're going to take way more debuff damage over time, and they're going to take more damage from the initial hits from our hits, or our attacks I should say. So the debuffs are going to do insane damage. Even Gothis Pumpkin Bombs are going to do massive damage. And keep in mind also, Green Gothis Passive is going to be building up in the background. So each additional turn that passes, we're going to do much more damage. So it should be a fun one. Um, I don't even know if we can take Bond teams out of this. I'm actually kind of curious to see myself. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. And I have a starter link on my King, by the way. So if he crits, which he will be critting, we ignore 50% of their crit defense. Yeah, that's basically it. Hopefully we have a good time. Uh, it should be an interesting one. But before we get started though, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We're currently on the road to 2k subs and we're at 1,860 subscribers. Also, if you do enjoy today's video and you think Festival King is one of the best festivals, uh, make sure to smash that like button because it really does help me out. And I really appreciate it. Uh, that's basically it. And I'll be back once we have the first real player and let's see we're going to face for opponent number one. Do we have player number one here? I honestly don't know if we do. Uh, if we do, it's a Bond team though. With Keo, that's kind of annoying. Using Red Escanor. What is this? Is that regular Arthur? Uh, it's a player. It's a player. Alright. Nice. That's all I care about. If it's a player. I'm actually shocked. Not shocked. I'm surprised that they're running this team. Uh, that's Red Escanor. <laughs> yeah, the regular Escanor. Okay. I'm pretty sure he's not using Evade Food. Okay. I'm, this is really nice. First team and we're facing a Bond team. How much damage are we going to do against Bond? Okay, they don't have to triple debuff, that means uh, he won't be able to get ultimate gauge, or he will be able to just get drained, ooh, that's really good. Um, I think I'm going to hit him with other debuffs, of some more cards with my handy, Nebula, and Dark Snow, and uh, hit with King. But basically, if you don't know why King is so good, his passive, basically, if for every bleed, shock, poison, or corrosion, if you have three of those, his passive is maxed, and if you have it maxed, they lose gauge, as you see there. Uh, they lose one gauge every turn they have them active, and they also disable recovery, which is really nice. Recovery skills, I should say. But I'm curious, do we have enough damage here to just finish off that Arthur? I doubt it. He has the, what's it called, the stance up. I think Keo is gone next turn from the uh, deep of damage, though. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, we almost just finished off Arthur. <laughs> Give me king cards. Yeah, see, look. He loses, uh, what's it called? Gage, which is really nice. But the debuff damage is slowly building up over time. And we should be fine. Good thing is not he's not using annoying the one Escanor. So he does have no debuff immunity. So debuff damage is going to do nice damage over time. DOT. Uh, dot damage over time. Uh, but what's he going to do? How much damage is he going to do? That's still pretty good. Oh, no. I think my Gother's gone. Please don't. Ah, uh, it's fine. We lose Gother passive, but we should still do decent damage. Yeah, look at that. All right. All I really need to worry about is the... What's his name? Keo, because his passive of that uh, damage reduction and ignites is really annoying. And we might be able to finish off... Arthur, too. If we do, then that's game. Yeah, okay. His bond has no support now. And he has a lot of debuffs. And he's going to keep losing gauge. So no ult for you. And since it is Red Escanor, he isn't able to get any debuff immunity at max gauge, as the green one can. But yeah, uh, that's basically it. Unfortunately, we won't be doing massive damage anymore because we lost Skelter, which is a shame. Uh, but the match is over. The, he can't win. I'm going to get double ult here with my Andy and my King. Oh, wait. Unless he drains me, actually. I forgot Escanor has an AoE drain. Hmm. Yeah, like that. 
So I will get Escanor gone out of yeah, I'll get him out of here because he is annoying me with that drain of his. Um Yeah. We're good. Get you with some more debuffs if I can. Okay, thank you. We get ult with you, and hopefully we have enough damage to finish off that Escanor. King does insane damage off this card too, release. 55,000 crit and the match is won. Yeah, we have weak point ultimate with my Hendy, and he's 6 out of 6. And basically, as you already know, weak point damage or weak point ultimates are insanely strong. Because most of the time, even like 1 or 2 6, you can still finish off an enemy. And I have faith that he's not going to finish off my uh, Hendy, yep. There we go. Make a bond player rage crit, always a nice sight to see. Unfortunately, my Gilther did go down, but it's fine, it's still 1. You were able to see the massive damage though for the first two turns. But that's game number one, and I'll be back with game two. Hopefully we do so much more damage on that one. And are we going to face a Bond team, Glue Eater, AMLE? I don't know. It'll be interesting. Hopefully we don't face any melee teams, though, because uh, we get countered by them. Okay, good. What is this? This is a weird team, I guess. We obviously see everyone minus Escanor. Uh, that's kind of annoying, but I, that works. All right. Which one does more damage? Basically, if you don't know what King Team is meant, uh, meant for, it's because of uh, debuffs. Because a King's passive. Basically, at max passive for him, if you have either a combination of Bleed, Shock, Poison, or Corrosion, as long as you have three of those, you will decrease... Oh my, look at that damage, man. Uh, you will decrease their gauge at the beginning of their turn, as you see just now in a second, once it loads to them. Please, thank you. You see there, they lose one gauge. And also, you disable the recovery skills, which is nice. Uh, not to mention you do insane damage over time. Dot damage is what you call it. Damage over time. He's probably going to rank up Escanor twice in a last uh, ditch effort to do damage. Yeah, us the usual. Oh, wait. Oh, he's going for King. That's a mistake. King has insane... Oh, my. He still crits. I was going to say that was a mistake because King has insanely high crit resistance. Oh, my God. So, let's see. I think that's still, yeah, I think that was still a mistake, though. We'll do this, we'll do this. No, I need Gother gone. I need Gother gone. So I'm going to hit you with more debuffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised he crit. Uh, King has insanely high crit resistance. Nice, we got, ooh, can we get everyone minus Escanor down if we do the next game? I'm pretty sure we can. Go out there, do some DPS. 53,000, that's fine. Unfortunately, Escanor... No, he's not going to get debuffed from me. <laughs> yeah, we make him leave. There we go. But there we go. Pretty good first game. We make a uh, interesting... I kind of want to say glue, but I don't really think so. Glueish team. But you saw the damage there. Gother was doing DPS. Green Gother is usually a support, was doing damage. Because of uh, Handy's passive. Increasing damage you do with debuffs. But yeah, that's a pretty good game one. Okay, it is a real player. That's all I care about. The question is, who are we going to face? And are we going to go first? I really hope... We haven't faced the Bond team yet, yeah? Okay, there we go. Bond team. Interesting one, though. They're using... Is that Summer Roxy? Oh, that's the Halloween Roxy. Respect. Respect. Uh, But we're going to have to hit you with the triple debuff anyways. And I'm quite confident they're not using uh, HP food. That's a real player. You can easily tell from the lag. Let's hit you with the triple debuff, and since you're not using like Twigo in the back or something like uh, like that, or either Red, SR, Grimoire, you don't have as much HP as you usually would if you ran those units. So hit you with the triple debuff, and give me King cards, please. Or rank ups. Ooh. Oh, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. He's going to go for raw damage before he taps out, because I'm going to 100% finish off his... Uh, Arthur here because if he puts up a stance which he might I'll just rank up King hit you with a uh, actually do you want to, I'll rank up my entire hand yeah I'll rank up my entire hand merge the rank ups rank up everything and then uh, get a level 3 hit with King do not finish off King please is he gonna finish off King don't don't crit thank you oh my god we almost just got finished off there all right we're good we're good 
Oh, that was close. <laughs> Roxy does insane damage, but yeah, let's make up our entire hand. And I am 100% sure that we finish off the Arthur with this. How much HP does he have? 142,000. King does not care. Let me show you the power of Festival King and why he's so good. He does more damage on this card because it releases the damage from Shock Blade and Poison. 194,000 damage on Ungi, <laughs> and he fully heals. All the damage he just did to us, gone. Alright, and that's game. We win. Roxy also loses a lot of damage because uh, of Arthur's passive, which is really nice. And I think next I'll probably focus the Escanor, depending on who he goes for. I'm assuming he'll probably go for Gother now. I was going for Ludo. Oh, Roxy still does insane damage. Ah, right, my Ludo's gone. That's fine. This passive is going to run out next turn anyways. Um, look at that damage though. Okay. I will... Hmm. Yeah, I'll do this. I'll do this. And I want that Escanor gone because he is going to become Diva for me next turn. And I'm pretty sure we have the damage to do so. And once we take him out, that's basically GG. Yeah, he's gone. And then we have Ult of King next turn, which is basically a free... Basically a one. It's a wipe, I should say. Because I am 6 out of 6, and his ultimate's an absolute beast. As you see here, let me show you real quick. Inflicts damage equal to 450% of attack on all enemies, and gains Abyss effect, which and takes 50% less damage for 2 turns. And Abyss at 6 out of 6 is a monster. Inflicts additional damage equal to 60% of damage dealt on all enemies at the start of the enemy's turn. And it lasts for 2 turns. And yeah, my king... 100% chance he does not finish him off. Even if a level 2 dead in a card, King is too tanky. Yeah, we're good. Right. Oh, he left, man. I wanted to see the ult. But we get to see King's windscreen, which is really nice. But there we go. Game 2 in the books against the Bond player. Interesting one using uh, Halloween Roxy. So, massive respect for that using the waifu. Good. What are we going to face? The Bond team, okay. I mean, I don't know why I keep asking that. It's probably Bond teams or glue eaters. We did LTC everyone, though, so that's good. Um, yeah, I'll hit you with the usual. Hopefully we can merge a king card that way if he puts up a stance and buffs himself, which he probably will. I can just finish you off with a level 3 king card, which does insane damage, as you saw, I believe in game 2, when we hit for almost 200k with it. Please. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> Alright. We are good. We are 100% fine. I think we can finish off two units here. I'm I'm pretty confident. This is the move. We'll rank up everyone. Are you not buffing yourself? You're not buffing yourself. That's a mistake. Now it's going to be way easier to finish you off. We'll rank up King. And since RNG loves me for this match, I'll hit you with two level threes. Oh, and that damage. All right. You know what? Yeah, we'll rank up King. <laughs> we'll finish you off and then finish Twigo off so you have no more support. We're literally going to take away both of your bond support on second turn. King, please. Thank you, 124. King, crit on this one. 227,000 damage and the game is won. He is not going to beat me. There's no chance anymore. I don't know why you didn't buff yourself. You maybe would have survived the king cards, but are you going to go for it? If you do go for it, please stay. I'm trying to see King ult, please, at least once. Uh, please. Please, bunny. Don't leave. No, man. Alright, that's fine. Player number three, I don't even know if we're able to see King ult, because uh, we've just been smacking players left and right with, I believe, under three to four turns, which is nice. Uh, let's see. Ooh. This is an interesting one. Is that green go there? That's the red one. Alright. Oh, using Esterosa Commandment. That's kind of annoying. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, it's a player though. That's all I care about. Let's see. This does more damage. We'll do this. We'll do this. The triple debuff. Unfortunately, Esterosa will become immune to debuffs with his uh, stance and his uh, passive, but it's fine. Look at that damage, man. Oh my! God. We almost half health to go there, and with a one. Basically, everyone minus Sario is half health. Uh, it's a real player. Good. I'm assuming he'll probably put up a taunt with Festerosa. 
He has Sar he has Ludo Link on Escanor for some reason. And keep in mind, uh, Commandment works both ways for Esterosa. Um, so if he attacks me with any one of his units, he will decrease attack rate stats. But he's double going double attack with Sario. That's actually a bad move. Because, yeah, I don't think he finishes me off here. Because he decreases attack rate stats by 20%. Yep. He probably would have. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go for raw DPS. And that should... You know what? Yeah, I'll just do triple DPS cards or debuff. I think everyone minus the Sario is gone. Oh, Gother, please finish off your your other Gother, the red one. Thank you. Okay, that's match. That's game. Uh, give me, give me king cards. Oh, that's fine. Are you gonna stay? Or are you gonna leave? Oh, he's going for it. He's going for. Oh my god, that's so close. All right. Before he probably finishes off my Sario, I mean my Gother, I'll double rank up King and then hit you with a level three poison because I don't think I've done that. Granted, we're not going to see massive damage because uh, we don't have anyone on the field minus Sario. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> we still one shot at him or finished him off. Forty-six thousand damage off an AOE poison card. But there we go. Game four in the books. Thank you, King. And I'll be back with the last and final opponent. Game number five. The matches have been going by fairly quick. But it's probably going to be a shorter video than usual. Although it is five matches. Just that's how nice and OP this team is. All right. We finally have last player here. We're cutting it short. Kind of close because it is maintenance as you see there. Uh, but let's see what we're going to face. Um, I've been facing nothing but Bond teams. I think one AMLE team. Yeah, that's been a while. I've been recording for quite a bit. But let's see. It's a melee team, dude. Can you, f can you not? Uh, his CC is kind of on the low end, so we might have a chance. Uh, let's see how it goes. The only yeah, this team completely counters my team because of uh, we have to hit him with triple attacks basically every single turn if we can, and that means he's gonna get so many debuffs on his melee. The only good thing is though that his CC was a bit low, so that does give me a bit of hope. Because if he was higher and he had more built-out units, we'd probably lose 100%, but we might have a chance. Because he's going to get Sigurd's passive right away of increasing uh, yeah, the attack rate stats. Man. And I'm pretty sure he can just one-tap any one of my units. With a single target card with melee, that is. Um, Droll. Haunt. Melee, single target. Sigurd single target maybe onto King if he's smart. Yeah. King is gone. Oh. Yeah, he's gone. Man, you hate to see it. Debuff damage though. Look at that. Hold on. I think. I think we're still good. We'll do this. Rank up my handy and hit you with. Uh, Level 3 and a level 2. I think everyone minus your melee is gone. Actually, I kind of hope Droll survives. That way he gets more cards of Troll. Or less cards of melee, I should say. Because right now, he could probably one-tap anyone on my team. That's how strong his melee is right now. And yeah, he has no cards in hand. Watch him merge a gold. Okay. As long as my handy survives, which I doubt. Because he could probably one-tap him with a level 1. Yep. Man... Oh, look at that debuff damage, though. Hold on. Let's do this. I'm pretty sure we lost, though. It's going to be close. He could literally just finish off anyone with single target attacks. Man. The debuff damage might save me here. Hopefully, he has nothing but sing uh, AoE cards. Oh. Don't. Okay, we win. Good. Okay, that was close. Yeah, we're fine. We still have uh, Gother passive, so this match was a close one. But yeah, we're good. We'll hit you with the Rupture card, so more damage because you have buffs up, and then Ludo. Okay, we're good. Nice. Keep in mind, yeah, the CC, we had a quite a bit on him, but I'm using CC food. 
So probably around 30,000, I would say. But still, look at how close that match was. Because again, Melly completely counters my team with all those uh, debuffs of his. Yeah, you saw that he's 126. If I don't use uh, CC food, I'm probably like around 150. So yeah, pretty considerable amount of difference. But that just goes to show how bad of a match that was for king teams, AMLEs in general. But there we go. We still made it work. We still won in the end. All that matters. Uh, five games in total, which were probably quicker than usual because this king uh, king team is insane DPS. And you can finish teams around three to four turns, which is really nice to see. But there we go. Hopefully you guys did enjoy uh, king team in action. If you did enjoy, consider subscribing on all the road to 2k subs. And leave a like on the video because it really does sound a ton. And comment down below what you think about this team. Now that you've seen it in action, will you try it out? I'm curious. It's a really good team. As long as you're Ludo at CCs, that is. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it and do it for me today. And I'll catch you guys next one. Peace.